Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more question. Little lengthy question, please be here. So, Shanti Sweet Stall was placing an order for making cardboard boxes for packing their sweets in the sweet shop and they are looking for cardboard boxes for sweets. There are two sizes of box that was required. One is bigger and the other is small. So the bigger size had dimension 25, 25, all in centimeters. So let me put this, let this be 25, this be 20, and I will this hide this 5. And the smaller box had dimension 12, sorry, 15, 12, 5. So if this is 15, this is 12, the height has to be 5. Both have same height actually, yeah. For the overlap, 5% of the total surface area is required. So we have to first find total surface area and you have to get the 5%, then we'll get the overlap. So there's an overlap also. That means uh, when you make the box, there's an overlap. I mean two sheets overlap to give a better finish. Is required. So we, if the cost of cardboard is rupees 4 for 100 or 1000 centimeters square, you have to find the cost of cardboard required for supplying 250 boxes. So you see, uh, there is so the, the requirement is to create cardboard boxes. So the raw material is cardboard. Okay, the dimension of the box is given, and also mentioned that some extra cardboard is required for overlap. And we have to find because if you see this is overlap, there's overlap here, right? The box, the blue one is overlap. So we have to find the cost uh, of this box. First, let's take a big box. Bigger box. First, what we do? We have to find the surface area. Surface area we know is what? 2 into length breadth plus breadth height plus length height. Why? Because if you see all the six surface are to be created. There's no, it is not open from the top, right? So we'll put the values in this length into breadth that is 25 into 20. Breadth into height that is 20 into 5. And length into height that is 25 into 5. All in centimeter is become centimeter square. Correct? So you put the values actually here. So what you get is 1450 centimeter square. That is the surface area of the box. How much is the overlay? Overlaps. So overlap is 5% of SA. That is nothing but 5 by 100 into 1450. Okay, so you solve this, you get one five. You solve this. So it's two seventy two point five. Yeah. So what you get is seventy two point five centimeters square. That is the overlap. Okay, so that means total area of cardboard required is what. See, total area of cardboard required is nothing but surface area of box plus overlap. So in this case, it is 1450 plus 72.5 cm square. You solve this 1522.5 cm square. This is the net surface area of the box, you can say that the total area of the cardboard required for one bigger box. Okay, so total area required for 250 bigger box will be what? Total cardboard required for 250 bigger box is what? That will be 250 into this value. Okay. 
Okay, so you solve it, you get three eight zero six to five centimeters square. Now you have to find the cost. So for thousand centimeters square, cost is for for thousand centimeters square, cost is rupees four. So for this big three eight zero six to five centimeters square. Cost be what? Four by thousand into this big number three eight zero six two five, and that will be rupees. So you solve this, what you get is one five two two point five. So that is the cost required for two fifty bigger box. The same exercise has to be repeated for smaller box. right and you will get a cost and you have to add these two cost that will be the or that is not required because they are asking for the cost required for each item right the same exercise has to be repeated for smaller box and uh, i'll not do it for you you can do it on your own you will get the answer as 661 rupees 50 paise for a smaller box So there also you have to first find the area, smaller box, then find the overlap, and then the area of the cardboard required will be nothing but the surface area of the box plus overlap. You get the area of the cardboard required for one box, then you get the multiply with two fifty to get the area required for two fifty box, and then you can easily find the cost because the cost of thousand centimeter square is given that is rupees four. Okay. Praveen wanted to make a temporary shelter for her car. The lady Praveen, and she wanted to make a temporary uh, shelter for her car by making a box-like structure with tarpaulin that covers all the four sides and the top. So, if you see, she is looking for covering top plus four sides. So, she is looking to cover how many sides? Five sides. Okay, understanding the question, we could reading reading out the question, we could understand that the requirement is to cover five sides only. How much tarpaulin will be required to make the shelter? And the dimensions are given. Height is two point five meter, and the base dimension is four into three meter. So everything is in meter, so we are okay. So this is two point five meter, and this dimension is four meter into three meter. Okay. So five sides. So surface area of shelter, car shelter, car shelter is what? So you see, this is length, this is breadth, and this is height. So you have to take one length into breadth, top one, plus two of breadth into height. These two sides plus two of length into height, the front and the back. These two sides. This will be the surface area of the car shelter with five sides, top and four sides. Yeah. Put the values: length into breadth four into three, breadth into height three into two point five, length into height two into Length is four, height is two point five. Dimensions are in meter. It becomes meter square. So you solve this, you get forty seven meter square. So that is the area of tarpaulin required to make this car shelter. See, the most important thing to solve the question is understand the question, visualize this. Right? If you can't visualize this, you'll not be able to understand that the five sides are required. You'll not be able to understand. You'll not be able to come up with this formula. Right? Don't mug up. Pause this video some time. Understand the concept. Understand the question. Visualize it, and you can easily solve it. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.